New national and regional IGF initiatives are developing at a steady pace. The many different NRIs, including the IGF USA, are helping enrich and expand worldwide dialogue on internet policy issues by feeding national and regional experiences into discussions at the annual IGF. The United States supports open, transparent, and inclusive conversations among the IGF community about how to continue to improve the IGF, and we very much look forward to participating in the 11th IGF this year in December in Guadalajara, Mexico. Another opportunity for 2016 and beyond, and one of our primary global challenges, is closing the digital divide. It is both an economic and a moral imperative that information and communications technologies be developed and deployed in ways that reduce inequality and spread opportunity. For humanity to fully benefit from the internet, it needs to be accessible to everyone. Many speakers today, including Under Secretary Novelli this morning, my boss, talked about the Global Connect Initiative, which aims to bring an additional 1.5 billion people online worldwide by 2020. We hope you will join us in this call to action and we will be reaching out to you as the initiative progresses. We must also focus our attention on making internet policy discussions more inclusive and accessible to stakeholders from every part of the world. We need to find ways to engage with diverse voices on internet governance and enable increased participation, particularly from the developing world, in related international meetings and processes. In every country, we need to identify and engage young people, entrepreneurs, startup communities, and those who are technologically engaged and who love the internet so that they can become internal advocates for the preservation of the global and open platform.